You know, what made me start this channel was when Adidas put a BOA closure on the Stycon. I thought that was one of the most innovative pieces of shoe tech I had seen. And being a foot doctor, I thought, oh, I should really take a look at this. And since then, that's kind of launched the Tennis Pro Doc YouTube channel. And today, I still get tons of questions on, is the original Stycon as good as the BOA version? So today, let's find out. Now, since the Stycon BOA was one of my first videos I did, I didn't do the full teardown dissection. I wasn't doing those yet. So I still have one of the shoes. So let's see how they really do against each other when I put them on side by side. Here we go. So the one thing I notice about both shoes, they both feel very secure, however, Stycon BOA is not as tight in the toe box. The original Adidas Stycon gets pretty tight in the toe box because of the elastic that runs all the way in the forefoot of the shoe. The BOA has the tines, so it gives you a little bit of tightness up here in the dorsal arch, closer to your midfoot, closer to your ankle. The Stycon BOA also feels a lot lighter. The original Stycon actually feels heavier because the shoe is gripping you so much. So imagine someone pulling you down underwater. That's kind of how these shoes feel. No, they're not that bad, but in comparison to the BOA, they do feel noticeably heavier and not as quick on your feet as the Stycon BOA, although they both have a nice little bit of bounce. So it's been about half hour, 35, 40 minutes. My left foot in the original Stycon is starting to feel a little cramped. Remember, I have a little bit of a wider foot. The one in the BOA, feels absolutely fine. All right, so now that I've compared, let's see how the original Stycons do on their own. Now remember, these are all elastic, so they're gonna be a little harder to get on, but not too bad this time. So I'm starting to see how the original Stycons produce stability. Number one, it's actually the outsole of the shoe. The last is really flat, so it puts your foot in more of a foot flat position, almost like the Nike Air Oscillates did. That's how these produce stability. They also have that elastic second layer, so it kind of cinches down your foot like a glove. Think of like the Nike Mags in Back to the Future Part Two. So these shoes don't necessarily produce stability by tightening up, they produce it by giving you a vacuum seal and putting your foot in a position that's really hard to roll. So as you can see, I'm actually moving side to side, really not that bad, nothing worse for wear that I normally do. These shoes don't feel unstable at all going side to side or moving forward. And I think that's because of that elastic second layer as well as the foot flat of the shoe. So if you're worried about moving side to side and rolling, I'm not really having those problems this morning. However, I am kind of out of breath from doing this drill a couple times. And second, my left foot which is my slightly larger foot, is still cramping a little bit. My right foot is fine. My left foot, being the tad wider that it is, is definitely feeling the cramp of that one elastic strap right here along my fifth metatarsal head. That's right at the ball of your foot on the outside of your foot. Now this elastic is cinching down on me pretty tight. However, I would have to think over a month or two of playing in these, that elastic just is gonna have to start expanding a little bit. And maybe that would make them feel a little more comfortable on your foot but it would also decrease their stability. I came in at 15.05 seconds on the suicide test. Now I only do one suicide test in these shoes. However, I think if I would do multiple in the same shoe, I think these shoes would get a lot slower over time than other shoes due to their weight. So one thing I noticed about the Stycon is, doing the suicide test, they do feel really heavy. On the tennis court, when you're moving side to side, and you can really utilize that bounce midsole in these, they don't feel all that heavy, however, after the suicide test, I kind of feel like I had two weights on my feet. Came in at 26 centimeters on the serve test today. I think the weight of these shoes kind of counteracts the bounce of the midsole. I think if the shoe were a little lighter, I'd probably get a little more height on the serve test. Prior to playing on court, temperature was 82 degrees and the shoes were 77.1 degrees. However, post with 45 minutes of playing, we had 96 degrees in the shoes on the court only rose one degree. So here's what I'll say about the original Stycon versus the Stycon BOA. If you have an excessively wide foot, 
that elastic strap is gonna annoy the living daylights out of you. However, they do produce the same amount of bounce as the Stycon BOAs do. They still feel as stable as the Stycon BOAs do, but they do feel a little heavier than the Stycon BOAs do. So if I had to make a recommendation, I would say wide foot, no good. And the Stycon BOA is definitely better than the original Stycon. Sometimes the sequel is better than the original. See you next time.